To edit the eye color, the first thing we want to do is to zoom in on the model's eye. So we've got a couple options. I can scroll with my mouse, which is what I'm doing now, and then kind of pull that up. Or another option is over here on the right-hand side where you have the navigator panel. You can zoom in. You see that red box right here? That shows us where we are, and I can actually move that over her eye. And I'm going to zoom in just a little bit more so that I have everything I need right there. Okay, so the first thing we need to do when changing colors, such as hair and eye colors, is to create a new layer. Over here on the Layers panel, to create a new layer, you just click here. If you notice when I hover over it, it says New Layer. I like to go ahead and give my layer a name. So I'm going to double click here and just call this Eyes. All right, next we're going to use this marquee tool here, only instead of having it be the square or rectangle, we're going to change it to this elliptical shape up here on the top toolbar. And I want to get the entire eye right here. So if I come in here and I just do like that, it doesn't quite get everything. So if that happens, you can choose Edit, Deselect All, and then try it again. So even if you have to go a little bit on the eyelid, that's a good, that's not bad. We can actually change that. And I can move it over. Uh, still don't have quite enough, so I'm going to do Control Z as another way you can undo. And I think this one's going to be good. All right, so go ahead and select your eye. The next thing we're going to do is pick color. So I'm going to come in here where we have the color choices. And instead of doing the, like the color wheel, I'm going to choose web. And I really think it would be fun to do like a pretty blue for her eyes. So I'm going to pick this color right here. You can pick whatever color you want and choose OK. And now I'm going to choose the brush tool. And notice that when the brush tool is selected, I have more options up here. So if I click here, notice I kind of have these like hard line circles, and then I have these that have more of the like blur effect. Um, I always, for eyes, I like to choose the, the 200 kind of with the, the uh, less hard edges. Now this will only color right in where we have our marquee tool. So that's great. Uh, 200 was a little bit big, so you could probably get away with doing 100. Yeah, that would be good. Okay, so now that we've done that, the next thing we need to do is to deselect what we call the marching ants. You see the, the kind of the dotted line. And again, to do that, if you go to edit, you can choose deselect all, and notice the shortcut is control D. All right, well, that really doesn't look great, so let's figure out how we can fix that. In the Layers panel, you want to change this to an Overlay mode. So you've got some options down here uh, at the bottom. So we're going to choose Layer Styles. Oops, sorry, not that one. We're going to choose this one right here, the Toggle Layer Settings. And for the mode, we're going to change it from Normal to Overlay. Looking a little bit better. And then for the Opacity, I'm going to change that to about 50, well, you can see what it's doing on the eye. It actually, the lower I get, the, the more uh, brown it gets. So I'm going to leave this one, I'll change it about 75. Okay. Give it a more realistic look. Now, you can see clearly where it drew outside the lines a little bit. So let's talk about how to fix that. Over on the toolbar, you have an eraser tool. So I'm going to click the eraser tool. And again, you can change, you know, kind of uh, the size of it up here at the top. And then this is actually a little too big. So let's change it to 50. And then just very carefully, I'm going to come over the eyelid and erase the color that got on the eyelid. All right. And now I can see I'm outside the lines a little bit down here. Instead of 50, I'm going to go a little bit smaller. And I'm also going to zoom in as far as I can. And of course, while I'm doing this, you can do this on your photo as well. And then 
come over here and do the same thing. Clearly we're zoomed in a whole lot, so it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm going to take out that last one I just did and maybe not go quite so far into the eye. Okay, that looks pretty good. So the next thing you want to do is continue to give this a little bit more realistic look. So you can actually do that by going to Adjustment and then go to Curves. And instead of the default, if you do Decrease Contrast, you can change some stuff here. It's called a Bezier curve. It can be a little bit tricky to navigate, but anyway, uh, that looks pretty good. So I'm going to choose OK. And I'm going to do one more thing with the eraser. I'm going to come in here and erase the color that got over the pupil so that the pupil has that nice black realistic look. Okay. And let's zoom out so I can choose view, show all. Wow, look at that. That's pretty cool. And that actually is very realistic looking. So one thing that some people like to do is to go ahead and flatten the layers. So let me just talk about layers for just a second. That eye color is on this layer. So if I were to uncheck this box, it would go back to the original. I don't want it to go back to the original, so I'm going to leave it like that. Um, so some people would go ahead and you know finish up what they wanted to do with the eyes and then right click and choose merge down or flatten image. I'm going to wait because I'm also going to change the hair and the skin. So right now, if you haven't already, go ahead and change your eye colors. And while you're doing that, I'm actually going to work on changing this eye color over here. If you want to follow along with me, you can. If you think you got it and you want to go work on your own, you can do that too. But again, I'm going to... Um, work on this eye right here in case you want to work on it with me. So again, we start with the marquee tool. We choose the elliptical marquee. We want to grab as much of that as we can. That looks pretty good. Let me move it over just a little bit. All right, and then we pick our color, which is already chosen for us. And I'm going to choose the brush tool come in here and it's already on overlay mode so that's why it's not the dark color that we saw before so pixel already recognized that we're trying to make it look like the other one which is good all right so let me choose deselect get that eraser go in here get it off the eyelid Okay, and also you want to make sure you erase any color on the pupil. And the adjustment's probably still good. Looks like I may have a little more green in this one than I do in this one. And I think that's just from the, the Bezier curve, but that actually is kind of a cool look. So I'm going to leave it because I like it. I think it's pretty. All right, go finish your eyes.